Let's look at thyroid um, system right now. So we, there are drugs that are used to control thyroid hormones. Um, but before we get into that, let's look at what the thyroid system does. So we have a thyroid gland, which is a butterfly-shaped gland um, that's right in front of our voice box. And this gland, although tiny, it's essential for our body to work properly. What it does is it helps control our heart rate, it helps with our digestive system, it helps develop our brain, and it also helps with our bones as well. So um, thyroid gland is extremely important, right? So it maintains blood pressure, as it, says, as it says here, and it helps with growing and development as well. Now, how does the thyroid system work? Well, in our brain, we have the hypothalamus, and um, there's a pituitary gland as well. And the pituitary gland and hypothalamus, they kind of work together. And what they do is they release something called the thyroid stimulating hormone. And this hormone gets released and it goes to the thyroid gland and tells the thyroid gland, okay, we need more hormones to be released. And so the thyroid gland will release T3 hormones and T4 hormones, which I'll go over in a bit. So sometimes if you have too much thyroid hormones, then the pituitary gland will release very little thyroid stimulating hormone and I'll tell the thyroid gland to you know decrease their hormone production so they kind of work hand in hand this brain or the hypothalamus and pituitary gland tells the thyroid gland that we need more hormones released or we need less hormones released so it's gives them the message it sends the message to the thyroid gland now t3 and t4 these are hormones that are released by the thyroid gland and what the hormones do, what T3 and T4 hormones do, is they help with metabolism. So they help with digesting, they help with growth, they help with development. The hormones also help increase the acetylcholine effect. And that's just a fancy way. Actually, if you look at this, this word here, kind of the INE kind of rhymes with epinephrine, norepinephrine. And this is where your, um, your sympathetic nervous system kind of kicks in. So if you are being chased by a bear, you need that fight or flight response to kick in, your sympathetic nervous system to kick in, to give you more epinephrine and norepinephrine so that your, your body is able to function when you are in a stressed environment. So just, just for now, just know that thyroid hormones, T3 and T4, they help with metabolism, they help with digestion, they help with your growth, they help with your development, and they help with... Um, your fight or flight response. When you're stressed, they, they help your body regulate. So T4, T3, okay, when we're looking at drugs, the drugs will mostly be um, interested. We're looking at t drugs and T4, so they're kind of related because they look at, they try to trigger or they try to act with the T4 because the T4 has a, when we have drugs that are interfere with the T4, they last longer in your body. Um, T3, they kind of, they, their half-life is shorter. When you have a longer half-life, it stays in your body for longer. So the drug will stay in your body for longer and do its job. So we like drugs that work with the T4. Once it goes with, once the, what's interesting to know is when you have a T4 hormone, it then gets converted to T3, which is an active form. But T4 and T3, for now, just know that they are the thyroid hormones we need to that we're most interested in. We looked at the thyroid stimulating hormone. So the thyroid stimulating hormone is right here. The pituitary glands sends thyroid stimulating hormone to the thyroid gland and the thyroid gland releases hormones such as T3 and T4, which is what we're interested in. The thyroid stimulating hormone, this is what secretes the thyroid hormone. So the thyroid stimulating hormone has many functions. It helps the thyroid gland grow, but it also releases hormones. So there is a blood test that people can take. And when you look at your blood test results, it will say that if you have a low T4 hormone, then you have low thyroid, you have low thyroid hormones. If you have high T4 hormone, then you have something called hyperthyroidism, too much thyroid. And let's look at this. So hyper, we know, is too much. Hypo rhymes with low. So hypo is low thyroid. Hyper, think of when you have too much energy. It's hyper, you have too much. Hyperthyroidism is too much. T4. And so a common one is Graves' disease. This is the most common type of hyperthyroidism. And with Graves' disease, what happens 
is it's actually an autoimmune disease. And autoimmune basically means your body is attacking yourself. And what happens is you could have you have too much hormones, and then you have puffy eyes. You have you can tr have tremors. You get very anxious easily. So these are all symptoms of hyperthyroidism, which is mentioned here. When you think of hyperthyroidism, you might think of someone that is a little um, who you know are usually skinny because they're so active. So they have a lot of bigger weight loss. They're sweating all the time. They have so much energy in, in their body. And these are the drugs that are used to uh, treat people who have hyperthyroidism. Hypo, think of low. So when someone has low, hypo, low thyroid, then what happens is they could be more overweight because they are tired easily. They are you know, fatigued, tired. They have lots of aches and pains. They're depressed, so they're not as active. Let's look at the medication for hypothyroidism. So remember, hypo means low thyroid. This is more common. So let's look at levo. Levo. See that O? The O should trigger your memory to, or your mind to think of low. So levo, uh, levothyroid, levoxyl, synthroid. So the O means low, so low thyroid. So people who have low thyroidism or hypothyroidism rather will take these type of medications, levo. Levo, okay, so the O for low. Now, if someone is taking too much medication, it can lead to heart disorders, so something to watch for. In dentistry, there are no um, special precautions. There's nothing that we really need to worry about when someone is taking um, thyroid medication. However, what you'll notice is sometimes they'll say that if you're taking thyroid medication to monitor their, their BP, their blood pressure. And the reason for that is because their blood pressure for someone who has uh, thyroid issues their blood pressure could skyrocket high and when it does that's known as a thyroid storm and it can their blood pressure their heart rate and even their temperature can you know increase to a very high high level so we need to watch for that but otherwise there's no other um, concerns just take their blood pressure if it's normal and you can take their temperature if it's normal then we know that we're fine to proceed this over here is just a um, summary of the difference between hyperthyroidism and hypo and their symptoms that they have. So remember, hyper is they have too much energy, so they're usually uh, skinnier because they, they lose weight because they have so much energy. They're sweating. Severe form is Graves' disease. And then hypo is they're more puffy. They're more, um, they, their weight is a lot more. The thyroid is enlarged, they get tired more easily, right? weight gain, they do get uh, a lot more than someone with hyper. And if you have someone that has severe hypothyroidism, it's known as myxedema. The M-Y-X is just pronounced as myxedema. And these are their symptoms.